The FDA has previously warned women of breast implants association with anaplastic large cell lymphoma, but new reports suggest implants may also be linked to squamous cell carcinoma and various lymphomas. I sat down with MD Anderson's Dr. Mark Clemens, who reviewed data from thousands of women to research this topic. We've known about this, it's been published in the literature, and we've even treated cases at MD Anderson. This is the first time that the FDA has acknowledged those case reports and just wanted to make sure that it was brought to the public's attention. Dr. Clemens says implants are not a lifetime device. Most of them need follow-ups every couple years, but consider it urgent if you have implants and notice any drastic changes in your breast health. If women notice any uh, asymmetry uh, between the breasts or something unexplained, some kind of overlying skin change uh, or a fluid collection or just something that doesn't seem right. He says while implants are a common type of implant, these rare diseases associated are not exclusive to breast implants but can happen with any kind. With more of the public being aware and hopefully coming forward early on with symptoms, the more doctors hope to learn who is at risk. That's our goal uh, with this new information and increased public awareness and uh, a focus of research. We're hoping that we can actually identify why some rare patients may develop this and better ways to test for it uh, when we think that it may be occurring. Dr. Clemens says from now on, anyone getting implants needs to have an in-depth conversation with their doctor. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.